It went as expected for the Indiana Hoosiers, a 178 win over UMass Lowell. The Hoosiers now 2-0 on this young basketball season. Alongside Seth Davis, I'm Kevin Kugler, and as expected, the Hoosiers win. As expected, they put up a lot of points, and as expected, they shot a lot of threes. Well, I think the depth and the pace eventually wore down UMass Lowell, and that's really going to be the template for Indiana this season. They love to get up and down. This is as deep a team as Tom Crean has had here in Bloomington. He likes running those bodies through. They can all play, they can all shoot, and they all have the green light to do just that, and a lot of them went in tonight. Picking up where he left off in the win over Kansas, James Blackman Jr. Had a huge second half in overtime there. First half, 20 points here tonight. Well, I thought he was going to go Kobe on us, but uh, <laughs> cooled off a little bit in the second half when it wasn't much of a game but he was absolutely sensational. Five for nine from behind the three-point line. Only two turnovers as a team. Indiana had 16 turnovers. Not a bad number given the number of possessions. Only shot 14 free throws, but you know, overall a good tune-up. This is the part of the schedule where you want to get guys some minutes, you want to get guys some reps. They've got North Carolina coming in this building in a couple of weeks, and everything's going to be building towards that. But so far, 2-0. A lot of happy Hoosiers. Yeah, no question about that. Dominant performance in this one. The Hoosiers win it 100-78 over UMass Lowell. 2-0 for number six, Indiana.